and is the core stage engine's achieved full throttle and booster ignition or flame trenches flutter and fire. Approximately two minutes into the mission, the boosters will consume all of their solid propellant and are safely jettisoned. Just three minutes into the mission, the service module fairings are jettisoned and the launch abort system is also jettisoned. It is no longer needed. The core stage separates. During this first orbit, the solar arrays are deployed so that Orion no longer needs battery power. The arrays are positioned into a load-bearing configuration to prepare for the perigee raise maneuver. The raise maneuver will ensure an Earth orbit and use the thrust provided by the interim cryo propulsion stage. Once the perigee raise maneuver is complete, Orion systems are checked prior to committing to the translunar injection or TLI maneuver. The TLI maneuver must be successfully completed to depart Earth orbit. The TLI burn is approximately 20 minutes in duration and increases the spacecraft's velocity over 9,000 feet per second, a speed change faster than a high-powered rifle bullet travels. Following TLI, Orion is committed to a lunar trajectory just one and a half hours after launch. Once complete, the spacecraft adapter will remain with the interim cryo propulsion stage and they will separate from Orion. In its closest approach, Orion will be just 62 miles from the surface of the moon. The spacecraft is now in the distant retrograde orbit, where its systems will be tested in the deep space environment for over a week. Orion will exit the distant retrograde orbit. The service module is jettisoned and separates. At entry interface, Orion will hit the Earth's atmosphere traveling at a speed of 24,500 miles an hour and decelerate it up to nine times the force of gravity. The heat shield will protect the spacecraft from temperatures half as hot as the surface of the sun, approaching 5,000 degrees Fahrenheit. Orion will continue to decelerate, pass through the sound barrier, and announce its arrival to the waiting recovery team with a sonic boom. Following peak heating, a protective thermal cover that sits over the parachutes will be jettisoned. The three main parachutes will deploy and slowly unfurl and suspend the 22,000 pound capsule and allow it to gently descend to the surface of the ocean. 